Hello and welcome to Metsmerizing.com. The topics that we'll study today are So, without further ado, let's begin. Now, the 19th graph is graph of factorizable polynomial functions. Now, for polynomial functions, we actually draw the graph using curve tracing, but here we are not bothered about the exact graph. So, here we just have to draw an approximate graph. So, there are certain things which we can do in a polynomial function. Say, for example, the function is given as x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6. So if I'll factorize it, I'll get fx as x minus 1, x minus 2 and x minus 3. So that's my function fx. So I'll draw a number line. So I'll draw x axis and y axis. And I'll mark these roots. So the roots are 1, 2 and then 3. So I'll mark these three roots on a number line. So now in inequalities, we know how to mark the intervals as plus minus plus. So sign of the rightmost is plus. So this is plus minus plus and minus. So that means my graph will be negative when x is less than one and will be positive between one and two. It'll be negative between two and three and then positive again between three and infinite. So this graph will start from minus infinite. Then it'll pass through one and it'll take its maximum value. Then It'll pass through 2, it'll take its minimum value and then it'll go towards infinite. So that is the basic graph of this function x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. I'll take another example. Suppose I have to draw the graph of fx equals x minus 1, x minus 2 square and x minus 3. So again, I'll mark these points. So this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 the sign of the rightmost is plus and then it'll be minus now at 2 because it's an even power sign doesn't change so it'll be negative and then it'll be plus in this case because it is plus so this graph will start from plus infinite it'll pass through 1 now since it has a double root at 2 so it'll touch the x-axis at 2 and then again will be negative and then it will pass through 3 and it will go up to infinite. This is an approximate graph. So in this graph, we are not bothered about the details of this functions like where it is going to take the minimum value and what is the minimum value. We just want the very basic shape of this graph. I'll take another example. Say for example, x square into x minus 1. So one of the root is 0. And the other root is 1. Now rightmost is plus and then minus. And there will be no sign change at 0. So this graph will start from minus infinite. It's a, it has a double root at 0. So it will touch the x axis at 0. And then it will pass through 1. And then it will go up to plus infinite. What if the question is fx equals x into x minus 1 whole square. Now then, Now here again. I'll mark 0 and 1. So this is plus. So there's no sign change at 1. So plus and then at 0 will be minus. So this graph will start from minus infinite. Then it will become positive and at 1 it has a double root. So it will touch the x-axis at 1. And then again it will go to plus infinite. So this is how we draw basic polynomial factorizable functions.